So here I am, all locked up in, in a big zip tie. I don't think I can break it like I did duct tape. Some zip ties you can. If I were going to, say, in a foreign country, and especially if it was a host, more hostile foreign country or the potential to be abducted or used either for a ransom or because of terrorism or whatever, I would take my shoe and I'd replace the laces with paracord because as you can see I can't break this so I replaced my laces shoelaces with paracord and what the paracord will do is cut through it like a saw so taking one of the laces from the shoe and what I'm going to do is take one end of it and make a loop for my feet and I'm going to feed the loop through I'm going to take the other end and do the same thing. Make a loop there. So then we got the two ends. Got a loop on one end, loop on the other. Put our foot through the one end and our foot through the other. And then we lean back and then with a bicycle motion we cut through it with. Mm. And it sawed right through it. And now I gotta lace up my shoe so that I can keep on, I can find a way to get out of here, break out. I would do this if I was going to a hostile country or if my mission was of such a nature in which I, the potential for getting abducted or caught or whatever picked up would be greater. It's always good to have paracord with you for a number of reasons, one of which in your shoelaces they're less likely to take your shoelaces away and if you need to you can saw through rope or you can saw through plastic zip ties so here's a smaller one I'm gonna to attempt to break out of it just as I did the duct tape you put your arms all, all the way up your hands like this put your arms all the way up and then bring your elbows past your torso that's not working Plan B, I'm glad I relaced my shoes with paracord. Lean back and saw. Uh oh. What happened was the knot slipped. All the pressure I was exerting upon it. And it's good to practice this several times. Lean back. Start pedaling up and down, up and down. Darn it, it broke again. The perils of being captured. Lean back. Start pedaling, and we saw right through the zip tie. Just like that. Plastic on there. Preparing the paracord is to cut these frays off, and then to take a lighter and melt the tips, and put your fingers in ice cold water, and then when it's burning, take it and and squeeze it off like this so they become all sealed up and melted together and then you can feed them through your shoelace holes and you can lace your shoes this way you never know when you might need this paracord is very strong it has multiple uses it can saw through rope it can saw through zip ties so if you have a set of shoelaces that are actually paracord along with other things that you might stash in your clothes or on your body you'll have the means to escape.